Hey, crochet friends. Welcome to Crochet Sister Chat with me, Cindy from Sugar Joy, and my sister, Tiffany, the creative genius behind Daisy Farm Crafts. And today we have a special guest. We're going to tell you about something we're very excited about. Crochet dreams are going to come true. So, <laughs> Tiff, how are you? Hello, my beautiful sister. And hello to my friend, Sherry. Sherry is from, she is our event planner, the official first ever, first annual Daisy Farm Craft Retreat is, and this is our event planner, Sherry. And Sherry, what is your cruise planners? You are at cruise yes. planners. She is a very experienced travel agent and event planner. She has been the number one go-to for the crochet crowd. And I happen to be so lucky and meet her last May. Has it almost been a, yeah, it was a year ago when yeah. I was uh, an invited guest at Mikey's crochet crowd retreat in Wickenburg. And I thought, you know what? I got to do this for our Daisy farm. It, it was, they were having the time of their lives. And I was a little jealous. I was like, now this is a crochet retreat I can get behind because <laughs> it was pretty, pretty chill. So anyway, today's episode is all about talking about what we are planning with Sherry and the place she's going to show us the pictures of the um, resort that we have chosen. It is the same resort that Mikey took his group to. I thought, as a first ever, let's go to a place that I had been and I know was successful and fun and all of that. So anyway, Sherry, thank you for coming on. And we're going to ask you all the questions about everything about the resort. So first of all, should we Perfect. just say the dates? What are the dates? So the official travel dates uh, for the re uh, uh, retreat are May 1st through May 4th. 2025. 2025, guys. Not this May. Next May. <laughs> Just want to make sure that's Correct. clear. When we announced it, we've got a, an, another thing. Um, how many people are we going to have at this retreat? So right now we're capping it at 50 people. Um, there may, may be opportunities if we sell out right away to add additional people, but that's all contingent on a few different things. So right now it's a max of 50 guests. And we kind of came up with that number because that is the amount of guests that Mikey had, if I'm not mistaken, at the retreat. And it was just a really nice number because we wanted to be able to really get to know the people that come. And not have it just be a huge anonymous gathering. And that was the overall feeling when I talked to several of the people who were at that retreat. They loved that. It would just felt a little bit more personal. So I thought that excited me to that. We'll just do 50. Right, sis? <laughs> yes, I think that's how, I'm so excited that the thought of having 50 crocheters together to yak <laughs> and stitch is just yeah, I can sit. So let's talk about kind of the activities that we have planned and let's talk about the resort. How about we look at those pictures first? And, sure. And, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Sherry, ha uh, she's going to share her pictures from the resort that we when we were there last year. So whoops, go to the, there we go. So that um so for many of you do not know where we're going to be going to it's in a little town called Wickenburg Arizona, um so you're probably asking how do I get there, um so if you're flying in you're actually going to fly into Phoenix Arizona that is going to be the closest major airport to fly into, um it is about a ninety minute drive from the airport out to Wickenburg. And as you pull up, they have this gorgeous uh, stone sign, Ranchos de los Caballeros. Hopefully I said that correctly. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the different rim types. Um, this was actually my rim. Uh, my husband um, was with me on this particular trip last year. Um, so this is a, what they consider double means it holds two people. 
Um, this is a queen slash king bed. Um, if you're traveling with a friend um, and you do not want to share beds, um, these rooms do have two beds in them as well. Um, so that is something that can be requested when you are um, signing up. Um, so you just let me know if you want one bed or two beds. Hey, I wanted but to as ask you, Tiff, I'm sorry, Tiff, um, what is the weather like in May? What can, what could people expect to in May, we could get real lucky and it's still in the 80s, but most it has not hit the high 110s. So I would say a range would be definitely under 100 degrees, more like in the low 90s area. Wouldn't you say, Sherry? It was. So we got low, lucky. Yeah. Would you guys got super lucky? We did. We got really lucky. So we were there the same time as this retreat is going to be last year. And we were probably in the mid to high 80s during the day um, with, you know, and occasionally there was a nice breeze that was blowing as well. Um, and then in the evenings, we actually, I had to put a jacket on it. And when the sun went down, it got a little cool out in the desert and everything. So yeah, I thought the temperatures were wonderful. And I live in Florida. So yes, I mean, it, it's, I thought it, it was wonderful. It's a dry heat. And the thing is in May is the mornings are still cool and the evenings are cool. It's not mm -hmm. really where we, you know, don't ever dip below 90 degrees. That's July and August. May, we're still pretty good. The day, I'm just saying the days could get up to, to the high, mm -hmm. you know, into the nineties, but, but the mornings are beautiful and the evenings are beautiful. So Ooh, yes. Lovely. yes, yeah. yes. So as you pull up to the resort, the, the main lobby area, this is the entryway into the main lobby. And then you go through that wonderful door and this is the lobby. Um, so I call this the family room. I love it. I love it. It's so Ooh, gorgeous. And wow. This is, oh, I know and this is another reason and, why I thought this would be perfect for our Daisy farm. Because yes, look at all the lights. It's kind of a farm. It kind of is like a ranch farm type type uh, resort. And this was a really fun room, honestly, to sit sit around in. Is this the room where we did the Facebook Live, or is is that it's off just to the? Off. Yep, off to the side is where you guys did that live. Yes, with Michael and um Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. definitely oh, we just had somebody in the comments asked, "How many days are we going? How many oh, days? How many days?" So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fly whatever. home Sunday, fly home Sunday. So it's three nights, four days. Correct. Okay. We'll get to the food yes. part in a minute or the, all the yes. stuff. Let's quit. <laughs> let's keep looking at the. Yes. So, um, just a gorgeous picture of the fireplace there. Um, another little nook in that family room area. So if you see right over here behind these chairs, that is the I call it an ante room. That's where you did the live um, okay. cast was over in that room back there. So yeah. um, this is one of the dining rooms that they have. Um, so as a group, um, we will be doing all of our meals together. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included in your package. Um, and we will be dining as a group for all dining. So that this is just me, one of the venues. Let's talk, let's talk, let's stop and talk about that for a second. So for, I've been to lots of, and this is why this isn't a conference. This is a retreat because <laughs> I've done lots right. of conferences and you don't ever get the food or whatever. This is a retreat meant for like at breakfast, we're going to be together. We're going to chat and have breakfast together and then mm -hmm. come back together at lunch, same with dinner. And that, I, I just loved that idea. And um, Tiff, we're going to have the Daisy farm crew there who, I mean, tentatively who are, who are our Daisy farm guests? That are yes. Our whole Daisy farm team most likely will be there. Of course, me and Cindy, uh, my daughter, Haley, who does a lot of the social media and we'll be sharing photos and do a Facebook live and all of that. Uh, Annie is going to come as our Annie and Elizabeth will basically be the photographers, but Annie will be our golf instructor. I guess we could get to that part <laughs> towards the sure. activity part, but, um, yeah, pretty much those girls, my girls, I'm Hannah. We'll see because, you know, she's having the baby, but I guess the baby would be, she's going to be uh, over a year and a half. So maybe let's hope Hannah would be able to come. I think that would be fun. If Hannah could come, but we'll see. 
And but maybe our mama, if we can figure out how to keep track of her. Oh yeah. And possibly my other two sisters. Yeah. And our other two sisters. It may just, yeah, we may just have the Daisy farm there. <laughs> the whole Daisy farm. It should be really fun. But uh, all right. Next picture. We'll keep okay. talking about the act. Is yeah. are, are the activities up next? Yes. 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 Talk about this. So this fun thing. was um, obviously, um, for those who know uh, Michael from the Crochet Crowd, this is Mikey and Diva Dan here. Um, so this was our first um, group dinner that we did. And we did a hayride out to the desert where we did a barbecue in the desert. So this is part of this is not everybody. This is just one of the group uh, wagons going out. Um, but then you get out into the desert and they have the covered wagon out there. Um, and the whole area is set up like a, a Western town. So, you know, you can see the little church um, back here. And then they had a mock-up of a bank and the jail and, you know, any of the other businesses that you would think about in a Western town. So it's, you can actually, it's fun. You can actually, they're like props. You can go and get your pictures taken in them and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So. Yeah. Um, when I, everybody told me about this, you know, I was only able to be a visitor for one day at the ranch and they had all the, they had just done this the night before and mm -hmm. all the raves. I mean, that, that's why I was just like, it, they just had, it was just a hoot to get on those wagons and head out. And I kind of actually had it imagined in my head a little bit more rustic. So I'm kind of happy that there's like chairs and it's kind of, you know, I thought they were sitting on rocks, like around a fire. This is great. It looks amazing. This and looks I, so would amazing. Love, I mean, sitting around crocheting around a fire. Oh, I'm so in. Yeah. This yeah. And great. so that um they do set up this nice fire pit here with the chairs around. And so then after dinner, you can light the fire and guess what you can have for dessert. You can make s'mores. s'mores. So, <laughs> yep. I so, love it. Um, so one of one of the activities, so there are your part of your package includes one included activity per day. And one of the activities that you can select from is horseback riding. Um, that is an included activity and this is for beginners all the way up to advanced if you're an advanced horseman or woman and um i am a beginner beginner so you know you let them know your skill level and they will pick the horse that has you know that matches your skill levels so um yeah and then so, this is us out horseback riding okay so let's stop here and really explain this part the, the package as well as including all your food, it includes a activity one Correct. each day. So all, yes. the, 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 there's a range of activities because I Correct. know the other activities besides the horseback riding is a round of golf. And so if you are a golf, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do one of the rounds of golf because this golf course at this place is extremely hard to book and get a tea time on. And it's one of the most well-known famous golf courses in Arizona. So there's also that perk, but there's also, so there's horseback riding, golf, mm -hmm. and what are the other ones? So um, we have, hold on, let me find the picture, archery. So archery. if you've ever wanted to learn how to do archery, I had never shot a bow and arrow before in my life. And the instructor they have there is absolutely amazing. This was my first time ever shooting a longbow. <laughs> and that, that I mean, I hit the target every time. So, yep. Yeah, so that is also an included activity. One of the other things that you can try is um, hatchet or knife throwing. Um, okay. It is harder. Um, I think there is a video if, if, for those of you who follow Michael with the crochet crowd, there's a video of him throwing an ax and hitting a bullseye and everything. Mm -hmm. And he just got so excited about doing that. Um, and then the other activity that's included is, um, skeet shooting. So think, uh, you know, clay pigeons, uh, if you ever wanted to try skeet shooting, that's an included activity as well. You okay. can also, now they call it a rental. It's not really a rental, but you can check out for the, you know, for an a lot of time an e-bike if you want to go around the resort uh, with an e-bike. Oh, cool. Okay. I didn't yes. know about that one. And I do want to add in 
there is the cutest 1960s, I kind of felt a swimming pool. There are, still is a swimming yes. pool. Yes. Kind yes. of. Yes. It, it does have a 60s feel to it, right? Like yes. it's pretty classic Arizona vintage kind of route, route six, route 66, that kind of feel. That's how <laughs> it felt like to me a little bit, but there was a pool. There is a pool. So there is a pool. None um, of these activities they, interest you. You want to sit by yes. the, I think that was Cindy. She's like, I'll be the one at the pool. There is also a full service um, spa. So if you oh. want to go get and, you know, pamper, manicure, pedicure, massage, whatever. Now that's not included in your package. That would be an additional charge. But there is a spa that you can go to, um, you know, make an appointment and go and um, visit right there and on property. So basically, you're going to be coming in Thursday night. We're going to have dinner ready for you, a welcome dinner. We're going to meet each other. Friday, you could choose to do, if, if you're not on an activity like horseback riding or the round of golf or all the other things, there is a a common area that we will be at where you can sit and crochet and you know visit with the other extra daisy farm people or get to know people but we kind of are planning this with the idea that you will do at least you would want to do one of the activities per day mm -hmm. so that you yeah. you know kind of get a feel for the ranch and everything but we come back together have lunch you know, you could go do your spa appointment or whatever and then we have dinner and just lots of chatting so really it's just the two days of activities because you've got Friday and Saturday and then mm -hmm. now Sunday morning, are we offering a breakfast or it's over Saturday night? Bre nope. Breakfast is included on oh Sunday. Gosh. So in the event that you have an early flight, um, they do do like a boxed breakfast that you can take with you and eat on the road. So, okay. Mm -hmm. And here's Mikey and Sarah of Repeat Crafter Me that we did our little live. That's us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the best. Um, okay, another let's t let's talk about another couple questions. Are pets sure. are pets allowed at the resort? So pets are not allowed at the resort. However, if someone does have a registered service animal, those are of course always welcome. Um, you just have to let me know because I do have to let the resort know that you will be bringing a registered certified um, service animal. So, okay. Are we done with the screen share now? Are, was that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, don't, I think that that gave people the gist. So then we can kind yeah. of talk. Um, okay. No pets. Let's see. We talked about the activities. Oh, nature walks. We didn't mention that. There are. Yes. That's also. Trails. Yep. Yep. Night nature walk. Um, People are going to be in charge of getting themselves from the airport to the hotel, but you could help them with that if they need help finding a, sh so or is the hotel actually, shuttling them? Yeah. So the, the resort actually offers a shuttle service. So once we know the flight information, I just provide that to the resort and that has already been included in the package for those that need it. And we can go ahead and get that set up for them. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, Okay, we talked about the food, everything included. Well, no could snacks. we just, could we maybe describe the food in general a little bit more? Like kind of like what's on the buffets, what's available? You know, all of us old ladies have, you know. Yeah, you know, um, so breakfast is always buffet style. So always buffet. And there's there's a wide range of things. So now the buffet does change daily. It's not the same thing every day. So yeah. every day it's a different menu. Yeah. So, but for like one day we had French toast, bacon, uh, different types of eggs that were offered. Um, they always have uh, what I call the dry goods, you know, cereals and, you know, um, there's yogurt available um, and at the, everything's homemade there. Um, you know, where, where they is homemade, but, um, and then they have a couple different types of juices um, so, I mean, it's just, you know, a really, really nice spread. Um, lunch um, is buffet as well. Um, that's always included. And again, that will vary. So they have what I call the, you know, I want to sit down and really eat kind of food. And then they have, uh, I only want a salad today kind of food. So, and they have a nice little salad bar area um, that is put together. So there's that. And then dinner is where every 
every night is going to be when I organized this for the crochet crowd was a different theme. So one night we had the, the barbecue in the desert. Another night we did a Southwestern flair in terms of dinner. Um, and so that was uh, tacos and uh, fajitas and like a different, different types of uh, Southwestern. Um, now we were there for a whole week. So I, I tried to really mix it up for them so that they weren't getting the same thing um, every, every day. Um, and then we did um, for our, one of our um, farewell dinners, which is, that's the one that you attend, Tiffany. We did um, dinner on the, uh, the main lawn and everything. And it just absolutely amazing event. And that was a nice plated sit down dinner um, out on the main lawn at the resort and then followed by a movie night on the, re um, on the lawn. So I really, I, I really hope that works out weather permitting. That is my, that, yeah. my dream. Yeah. It was but so, what movie it, did you watch? Yeah, Which, what movie should city, we watch? City Slickers. City Slickers. We got to keep it like total Arizona. Oh, like I'm Three thinking... Amigos or something would yeah. probably yeah, be Yeah, it's, right? yeah. So for us, it was City Slickers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to really, you know, yeah, keep it to this desert Southwest. I want, yeah. people need to know, you know, the Arizona lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that is awesome. Now, somebody um, also in the comments asked Tiffy if we were going to have a crochet project. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far because I don't want it to be that like, I want to be able to enjoy everybody. Um, this, the, from the feedback I heard from Mikey was that it was just, you just bring your own crochet kind of, wasn't that kind of what he did, Sherry? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it was really, really relaxing to just be able to say, of course, I'll help anybody or, you know, if they have a question or something, but to have a specific project, I'm not sure yet. What are you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, Cindy? I don't know. We kind of were talking about maybe doing like a workshop type of thing or a demonstration. Well, or... I do know that I'm going to reach out to Yarnspirations and we're going to try and bring a whole bunch of yarn that people Ooh, that can, you know, play with. I'm sure, you know, they'll, they'll be definitely interested in, you know, maybe I can get my hands on some new stuff or whatever, but I, you know, I, I don't know, <laughs> but I kind of want to surprise the closer I, we do have more than a year to plan this out Yeah, more than a so year. Any suggestions people want to give us, you know, leave in the comments of things that you've done in the past, or you think might be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about them and yeah. make sure that these maybe. are the things that are important to me sitting around chatting. Cause that was my favorite thing that I did at the crochet crowd. I met everybody sat chat. It is so fun to meet people from all over. I really want to be able to go and participate in the activities with the people. Um, and just, just talk about crochet and just keep it really relaxed and fun retreat. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I'm so excited to meet people and just yeah. like sit around and see what people are working on and you know, talk about crochet because that's what we do, Tiffy. We, we yeah, talk about that's crochet. what we do. It's a it's an extended and we're going to if anybody we're going to teach to crochet, it'll be Sherry. That's right. That's right. Because <laughs> Sherry's coming with us. <laughs> she will be she will be there, uh, which is awesome. We're so, so I'm so grateful to have met you, Sherry. Just a blessing. Um, OK, here's a question that I got. Uh, I think on when I announced it into the Daisy Farm Crafter group originally, okay. and let's clear this one up. Can okay. people come to the event, but stay in their own lodging or in a camper or something? Unfortunately, no, we have contracted with the resort for a set number of rooms. And unfortunately, we're not able to offer that um, for people to come and um, stay at other lodging and then just come for like a day pass or something like that. Yes. I wanted to just clearly put that. I'm just, I'm so sorry, but for this one, it, you, it's, it's this package. That's what it is. Um, you know, it made me think maybe, uh, at some other time, you know, when Cindy and I are together, maybe we could do like a meetup or something like that in the future. But for this re retreat, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. You need to be staying at the resort and be a part of this. Right. It's just, it's just the package and it's just 50 people and it's just for the, however many days. Yeah. The four days. days. Four, yeah. Four yeah. days, three nights. Yeah. Okay. I think we're to the point now about, let's talk about the deposit 
and okay. how we're going to get signed up for this. Okay. So the deposit is $500 per person. Um, the deposit is non-refundable. Um, unfortunately, again, we've contracted to the resort for X amount of rooms and we are on the hook for those. So if you sign up um, and then are not able to go, we're still on the hook for your room. However, if we're able to resell your room, then I would be able to refund your deposit back to you. So just, just know that if you have to cancel and we're able to resell your room, then you would receive your non-refundable deposit back. This is why I strongly encourage travel insurance for everyone. You never know when something unforeseen is going to happen. So you wanna make sure that uh, your vacation is, is protected, so. Yeah, Thank, yes, yes. Very important. Um, I like that. I'm wondering, that made me think too, well, we'll figure this out, but I wonder if we'll keep like a little waiting list because what if the 50 spots sell out? Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a, like a little waiting list? So if people yes. drop out, we could maybe fill yes. go to the waiting list. Okay. Yes. That's so that's what I've done with the crochet crowd for their events is I do keep a waiting list. Okay. Um, and just kind of go down that list and make the calls and say, okay, a spot has opened. Are you still interested? And then if not, then I go down to the next name on the list. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to talk about how to sign up. So this is what I think I'm going to do because I really want to be able to get the word out, uh, to everybody. So everybody has a, a kind of a chance to sign up. Signups will be going live one week from today. So this gives me a whole week to share this live podcast. Uh, what are, what are we? YouTube, this live sister chat, let people listen to it, research the hotel, really look at it or whatever. I'm going to be putting, writing up our episode and getting all the information in writing on my website to my, tonight or tomorrow. So that will go out in our newsletter. The link won't be in the newsletter uh, on that post until I will go back and add it in on Wednesday and I'll reshare it. So if you want to mark your calendar and really want to make sure you are going to get a spot for the retreat, I would say what time, maybe I should put a time noon Eastern next Wednesday is when the sign up will go live. That gives me, cause our, um, our newsletter goes out at 10 o'clock mountain standard time. So it'll be 10 o'clock Colorado time, Eastern time a week from today. How does that sound good? Yeah. I think that sounds great. So people okay. can go check out the, the website of the resort. Yes. You'll have the name of the resort. They the, Haley just posted in the comments. There's a you can actually link to the menus available at the resort, so oh, people okay. can check out food before you know possible food that's going possible to be food. Yeah, because it could change, and then we might have yeah. special things just for our group. But that gives you sure. an, an idea. I most most places now offer gluten free vegetarian. Oh, yes. I, I I feel like they'll they they would accommodate that. Soft drinks yes. are included. We didn't talk about the two drink minimum each oh, night. Oh yes, yes. So soft drinks are always included with all meals. Um, and then for dinner, uh, each guest is entitled to two adult beverages, whether it's beer, wine, whatever. Um, now some beverages require two tickets. So like if like I, I like to have a glass of whiskey. Um, that required both of my tickets for <laughs> one glass. Okay. Um, but if you want a glass of wine, if you're a wine drinker, then it's one ticket per glass of wine. So it just depends on the type of drink that you're drinking. Okay. Um, that's just for the evening. That's drink, for the evening dinner. Yeah. Evenings only. If you, if you need a cocktail at some other time during the day or after dinner, you know, maybe everybody's meeting up in the bar later in the evening, that would be a charge to your room. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Um, is there anything else that we're missing? I think we've, you know, I, I think we went through the whole list. Sherry, can you think of anything? Um, the only thing is, you know, what if somebody wants to come in maybe one or two days prior to the event starting? 
Yes. Um, okay. you, that is an option. So when I talk to you on the phone or if you're maybe coming in from overseas or, you know, wherever, um, you know, we can communicate by email as well. But there is an add on option and I can go over the different options for you to come in one two, however many extra days you want to make sure that you are there, because if you're flying in, you want to allow for possible weather delays, mechanical delays, et cetera. I mean, you don't want to miss the retreat because your, your flight was canceled. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It would just make me so sad. What time do you think we'd start dinner then on Thursday? Do you think it starts like, would we say the um, well is around like, what, what time can we check in? Uh, Check-in is at any time. Rooms, just like with any other resort, or normally they tell you they're ready by 3 p.m., Free. But okay. if your room is ready prior to that, like say you get there at noon and your room is ready, they will get you into your room ahead of time. So you can freshen up and, you know, okay. come hang out and start meeting folks. Um, typically dinner is between six and 7 PM. Um, okay. It just depends. So, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That sounds awesome. Okay. Share, uh, Cindy, anything else before we let Sherry so just go? Just to recap then, uh, it's all expenses included aside from your transportation from the airport to the resort. No, no, no. Your air. No, that's included. Airfare. That's included. Airfare is not included. Airfare not included. Okay. Oh. Shuttle okay. Well, from airport to, right, to so resort. Your airfare is your responsibility. Once you land, then... You, the, the transportation from the, uh, the, the airport to the resort is included. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, That's correct. We yes. do help people with their reservations, right? Their airline I, reservations. I certainly can. If, if somebody requires assistance, I can certainly help them. However, if somebody is using frequent flyer miles or something like that, the only thing that I request, because I cannot redeem those for you, you have to redeem those directly with your airline of choice, is that you will you check with me first to make sure that the flight times you're looking at will work with our schedule. So that's the only thing I ask if you are redeeming airline miles. Anybody okay. else, if you need assistance with your flights, I'm happy to you know check pricing for you, flight options, et cetera. Um, you can also reserve your own flights on your own. That's okay too. Just double check first to make sure that what you're looking at works with our schedule. And then once, if you purchase on your own or you're redeeming miles, just forward me a copy of your flight schedule so that I can arrange the shuttle transportation for you. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, let me tell you, Sherry's amazing. She just did my whole Norway trip. She did our trip to Disneyland. She's really good. So if you need help, don't, don't hesitate to reach out for her. So, and everything will be booking through Sherry. Sherry is 100% handling all of this. She's top notch. It will, it goes off without a hitch. It was wonderful. And so once we get to the resort, then it's all the food is included. Two drinks a night is included. Activities every day are included. The only extra thing is spa treatments. So yep. one activity per person per day, whether it just depends on what activity you want to pick. Um, you can do multiple activities, but if you do a second activity, that will be billed to your room. Um, so maybe you want to do horseback riding in the morning and then a round of golf or, you know, whatever. One of those activities would be billed to your room. Um, spa is not included. Snacks are not included. So if you need like a I don't know, a snack in the afternoon or whatever, um, that would not be included. So, and there is what type of like food for purchase is available then? Like, can you go sit in a restaurant there and order something if they, I don't yeah, know. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Like, like if you want like a plate of nachos or, you know, something like that, um, think, think bar type food. Um, they have a nice little menu over in the bar area. Um, they have like uh, bowls of chili and, you know, there's all kinds of nice stuff over there. So. And now the room situation is you, is it optional that you share with somebody or if you're, tr or oh, is it no. all That's double? That's what we didn't talk about. We did not talk about yes. that. Talk about that. So we have rooms um, for the solo traveler, somebody who does not want to share a room with anybody. So when that registration link goes live, you will see that as an option. So make sure you're selecting single room. Um, and then for folks who are going to be sharing a room with someone, you want to click the double room option. Um, for, you know, meaning that it's going to be for two people. So 
Okay. Do people ever sign up as a single, but they want to share a room, like kind of with somebody they don't know, or is that no? So I'm not a fan of matching people up yeah, just no. because of liability reasons. I mean, yeah. okay. So it's um, not it's, you, if yeah. you're coming by yourself, you need to book a, a single room. Yes, We're not yes. matching you up. Okay. You that come makes with a, a friend. We have an option for if you come with a friend, you two can share a room. Got it. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh, I'm glad. Right. So this isn't up. like we're teaming people up and no. strangers no. or anything like that. No. Everybody has no, their no, own no. room, their own privacy. They can get up all night and go to the bathroom without having to worry about it. So <laughs> that's right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, say somebody books a solo room and then you know they have a friend that later on wants to join them on the trip. I can always change that room from a solo room to a double room. That's not a problem. So yeah. if there was an extra space available, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Got okay. It. Great. I love it. Okay. So of course, everybody wants to know the cost right now. What we're going to do is just, we, we, it's a $500 deposit to reserve your spot. However, Tiffany will have everything laid out for you. You can see the entire cost all figured out for her blog post, which will be available next no, well, I'm going to go ahead and put it out to this evening in the next okay, couple of hours. So it'll be out this so evening. People can study it, look at it. We'll have the, you know, the price, everything, but the link to sign up will not be on it until a week from Wednesday to give everybody a chance to go through the information, look at their calendars, look at how much. And, now, we, sure and again, it's not this May. It's not in a few months. It's a year from May. So we're, we've got plenty of time yeah. to, you know. Yeah. So that's the money. Yeah. Because it's 500 now. And then when would the full amount be due? Not until March of 2025. Okay. So um, one of the other things that, you know, I, I get a lot of questions, can people do payment plans? Absolutely, you can do a payment plan. You know, if that, you know, I recommend, you know, you know, if, you, you know, I it, it's hard for, especially even myself, to come up with a big chunk of money on time when something is due. So if I, I can do a, you know, a budget and do a little bit at a time, if that works best for you, I can definitely work with you. You just have to let me know that. So, okay. oh, that's Perfect. great. That's a great option. Yeah, that's awesome. Sherry, thank you for doing that. That's awesome. Um, okay. I think the yeah. only other thing we didn't talk about is if somebody wants to upgrade their room, there are yeah. upgrade room options. So, you know, maybe, you know, this is your one vacation a year kind of thing and you want to splurge a little bit. Um, Tiffany has all that information. Cindy um, and I are raising so I know she'll hand. be putting it in her. <laughs> We'd yeah. like the upgrade. We like glamping at hotels. <laughs> we take that upgrade. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have the information if you want to upgrade your room to a casita or a suite or something like that. So, okay. all right. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. And then I guess the other thing is, Oh, well, it's Cindy and I, we will plan all year for the best swag bag ever. We have some great ideas already. Great ideas. Swag is like number one. Important. Yarn will be flowing. <laughs> Yarn and hooks flying through the yeah. air. Sherry, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for coming on Crochet Sister Chat. I will be- Thank you for having me. You. I will send you that blog post too. I'm going to work on it. As soon as Sister Chat is over, I'll get it and um, grab those links. Yes, okay. thank you, Great. Sherry. I'm so excited. It's going to be, be so I'm much excited fun. too. I can't right. wait to go back to the ranch. Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. See you, Sherry. All right. Thank, thank you guys. Sherry. Have a great day. There we go. Oh my gosh, we did it. That's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So we've got a half an hour more for our sister chat. And then- Well, Tim, go... okay, first of all, I've kind of been keeping my eye on the chat. I have to say thank you to Angela, who uh, who apparently, I'm assuming, went to Mikey's crochet oh. retreat. And so she's 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 in the know. She she knows what's been going on there. And so, what did she say? Did she like it or yes, it? yes. And she well, she's saying the the food is great, the activities are great, everything was great. It was a really fun time. So 
Thank you for sharing, Angela. Yes. And I just want to say, what I really do, one of the activities I personally am choosing is the round of golf. I have wanted to, and with Annie. So if there's anybody else that I think, you know, we would be paired as two other people or whatever, come and golf with me for, for one of the activities. I think the other activity I would do is the horseback riding. What about I'm you? I'm kind of thinking about the horseback riding too. I don't know if my hips take it, but I'm, I, I don't they, know if I'm, I have such a bad arm. I don't know if that interests me to shoot or throw things, but I did hear from a couple of the ladies. They loved that too. The ones that just didn't want to get on a horse. They went and threw those, the hatchet and they said it was a blast. Oh, because the other thing that's really fun is the, uh, the workers are like these young ranchers. Oh, wow. Like, well, at least I don't know if they'll still be there, but there was like several, you know, they're helping and. And you was, get to throw knives. You throw knives. It was really fun. It was. You it work was, out all kinds of, you know, these issues. These ladies had a blast. Okay. What else in the comments? Anybody saying well, anything? Well, and then Tiffy, you did get, uh, people want to know what you're wearing. Oh. Come on. Let's just, I'm, I'm like. So uh, impressed. I'm so wanting one. You Kristen. just nailed it. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. How cute is that? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So it is, um, I put it together. I did it. I just followed the, you know, the tutorial, uh, a layout that's on your inspirations. So you just... You know how you've so are seen. Are we going to be providing that link? Because I want to go watch it. Can Haley? Can you put the link to the tutorial in the comments? Well, it's not a tutorial yet. Oh. I mean, it's just it was just a a layout. But yeah, are you I mean, going to make it? Are you going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it because I kind of had to tweak what they had um, for these school. I don't know for what Annie was looking for. Theirs had like a collar on it, and Annie didn't want a collar. She just wanted it what, you know, what all the Gen Z's are wearing. And so it was more close to that picture, but it's still the same idea of, remember last week I talked to you about how I made the strip that went up and over. So it's right. two strips up and over seven, yeah. seven squares like this. Okay. And then on three of the square, and then it's like three for the sleeves. Okay. Three for the sleeves. One, two, three. Okay. And then I did do uh, in between for the back of those two that go up like that, there's a row of an extra three. Okay. So how many skeins total for that jacket? Oh my gosh. I think I used. Was it five? Four. It was four. four? Ooh, it was more like bad. three and a half. It's okay. Wait, I'll be able to tell you because each skein makes 14. So there's 14 on each side. So that's two. And then I used, um, one, two, these are three, one, two, three, four, five, six for the sleeve. That's 12. So that's another skein three. Yeah. Three. Oh my God. No, it was three. I, I did use four because I had to make one extra out of the fourth skein because of this. Now, if you're a tiny person, I don't think you need this row you don't need these, you know, you would just go. And if you're bigger, you would need two more, another, another row of these. To, for oh, so back. that's the way that you would uh, adjust it for size. Got it. For size, I think you would just add here. But now the thing is, is when I went, I did a round of single crochet at the end. I went ahead and I did, um, some decrease, meaning I did single crochet two together. And do you see how these are kind of like, I, I suppose them together with stitches. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of brought it in a little bit because it was a little right. bit wide across the back, but this is that slouchy look, uh, that Annie wanted. Oh, and at the end I did have to add, uh, four rounds of the granny stripe stitch just around for the cuff. Cause I need her, my arm, her arms are, were oh. adding another square would, was making it too long. So we just added some rows of black. 
that okay. just turned it's out so cute. So, cute. so I'm going to start making one for baby Kate. But the thing is with baby Kate, I don't want to use this large of square. So I'm stopping after the one, two, three, fourth round. And I'm going to make hers. So the squares will be just a little. What do you do? Just cut out? I just you... stopped. Yeah. It's, this is the whole, this is the whole thing. Yeah. And I just stopped at, after. Okay. So I'm not doing the white round, but what I'm going to do is take the white and put them in little balls. And I'm going to use that to sew, to sew this. To sew oh, them good I'm idea. Hoping, I'm hoping that will work. But my, my plan for baby Kate's is I only want her sleeves to be two. So I didn't want them to be three. So then yeah. that way, I think I won't have the problem uh, um, in the back because the sleeves. Just... And so this is red heart, super saver and granny square yarn. Is that what it's called? All in one square. Granny, granny square yarn. And it's kind of, and is, when I looked at it, it seems like it comes in a lot of different color combinations. Yeah, I have more. So I've got this color, which, which turned out to be this. I've got, they have sent me, they sent me a lot of colors actually that I could try. I do have browns, but they only like gave me one of each. So it's kind of hard to do. But tons of colors. I think ooh, there was the, like four. Ooh, the black and white and gray. Is that what that is? Black, white, and gray? Yes. Yes. They ooh. Have I like that one. Here's this one came. And now this one's quite bright. It is citrus called citrus. But I don't know these have you seen? I mean, these younger kids are loving the granny look, especially because all these football player guys are wearing them there. Have you, you have you not seen? I, have, I mean, I've husband. definitely seen, I've definitely been coming across the granny square jacket and the yeah. other one, the hexy jacket where it's mm -hmm. like big, big stripes or whatever. Yes. yes. I, I, saw that. I saw a big football player wearing one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so it's like my husband, it's a happening now thing. It's a it's happening now. Poncho in the seventies, everybody had a poncho and now everybody's going to get a, a granny square jacket. And oh, that's oh, brilliant. The no, red heart. Like I'm happy that Annie had me make it cropped because I feel yes, like the crop it is longer, just a hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm glad we did the the wide sleeve. I feel like that looks just a little bit maybe trendier. I totally want one, and you know what I think I would do? I think I would put a zipper in front because I just like to be boxed in. You boxed know? in. Well, I also was thinking I could have like added just you know chain out and in, and this could be the tie. Well, I saw this really cool tutorial somewhere that somebody would, or a little snippet where they, they crochet right into a zipper, like no sewing needed. They just crochet in around the zipper uh, so that you have something to hook to, and then you can just go ahead and add it to your garment with no sewing needed. So Ooh. I want to try that. I think that looks Ooh, pretty cool. Yeah. Try that. Cause that would be so handy to make. I mean, I, I know there's a way to do it. I just, yeah, I have a, I love the crop. I that is stuff. so cool, Tiff. Thank you. I know. I didn't think I would, I'm kind of like, Oh, hmm, my first crochet clothing. Maybe Annie is not going to get this or maybe I'll make <laughs> another one for myself. I don't know. <laughs> you know, what is so great about it is it's, it's actually cooling. Cause it's got all these holes. So I'm not really as hot. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing like a hot, heavy blanket. Yeah. I mean, it is definitely making me want to go to Joanne's today and get some yarn that black and white. I would, that would be so cool if they had it's that Joanne's that is, it is. Uh, a, I think we've, I think it's completely sold out on the yarn inspirations website. I'm not sure, but I think it's at Joanne and it's going to be coming to Walmart this summer. And it's going right. to be coming. Walmart does have a, a selection of red heart there. Yeah. I think so. It's coming to Walmart and it's coming to Amazon as well. It's, it's going to be out there. So thank you. Thank Yay, you. Good job. What, anything else in the comments that any other questions we could possibly answer? I just, well, I think, I think just that the important thing to reiterate is that uh, you are going to have the, all the information available after the show today. Yes. And then next Wednesday, the live, 
or the, the links Sign will up. Provide to be able to do your deposit if you want to come. Yes. Yep. If and you know. she said that uh, if you miss out, you can put yourself on a waiting list yeah. if you don't, if you don't get in, because we, we are, we're just going to do 50 this time. Yeah. So, or well, only time, I don't know. Would We, we don't know. We don't know. It might we'll do be the only time. We don't it know. It might be the only time. We'll see. We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. So I, I'm, I'm just very excited about it, Tiff. We have such good vacations together when yeah. we did our, when we first, our inaugural sister chat, our very first yeah. sister chat that we did is yeah. when we were at a fabulous hotel. So. Well, the thing I love is that I think bring in the girls and bring in uh, whoever decides to end up coming with us, Nicole, Natalie, we have such a range of uh, interests that uh, will, you know, ev you'll, that's what I kept, I was, you'll, you'll definitely have, like, Cindy is not going to go to the golfing, but she's going to be at the pool. And, you know, now I can see Nicole taking the folks out on the, on the horseback ride. On the and horseback riding. Yes. Our sister, Nicole is very sporty. And so very, is oh, Emily. I mean, for, for so more, than I mean, I mean, Nicole might even just like, Hey, who wants to go hiking? Um, you know, that that's it. But then there definitely will be plenty of time to sit around and crochet. And if that's all you want to do is come and sit in that beautiful lobby and the family room or this crochet other banquet room, chat. that is probably where I will be most of the time is because I, I'm a crochet machine. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I mean, maybe if we bring mom, that's where we'll put her, but we just, we don't, I mean, we're nervous to bring her. No, no, mommy. Yeah, she's I mean, she's just she's a spitfire. We can't keep track of her. We'd have to put a leash on her so we don't lose her. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we could bring her. I mean, she would love to. I if we did bring mom, I I would bring all the blankets that she's made so she can just sit there and tell everybody about them. <laughs> That's a good and, idea, mom. You know what? Just, and her you know, her stack of books and maybe do a whole stuff. seminar on everything that she's made. I know. She's or she'll sit there and she'll crochet. Just... And she just yeah, mama really knows how to follow a pattern. She's gonna be eighty. So let's see. So she'd be eighty-one. She's yeah. doing pretty good. She's got her walker and her. uh I don't know. She just got back from a cruise, so it's like. She did okay there. Just lost her at the airport momentarily. But other than that, I think, you know, it's, okay. it's always an adventure. It's yeah. always an adventure. Okay. So what else are you, well, anything else you want to show me or is there any other? Well, we're kind of at the end of the time. So we probably should just like wrap it up and I will, I'll do an Instagram post. Do you want me just to show you real quick what I'm working on? Oh, yeah. I'm almost done with it. I was going to do some, I was going to do uh, photographs today. I'm pretty excited. I feel like, okay, I feel like I have got, I've done a rite of passage now that I have done the granny stripe. You yes. know, that that is something that the the granny square, the granny stripe, the, what, the, the, the double crochet in the way that it is seems to be something that is absolutely, you know, central to being a crocheter. So I have now completed yes. that rite of passage. So this is what I have done. And I, so <clears throat> oh. this is my granny stripe. Oh, it's a little oh, back. Sis. Tippy, these are, this is simply fleece or right. Forever fleece. Yeah. Forever fleece. And it is Tiffany's curated colors. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Didn't that just turn out amazing? Amazing. And it my room perfectly. Oh, so you're using the gray, the matcha, and yeah, the, the only one I didn't use was the pink, the pink. one, which is yeah, the pink. pink. This is just the the oh, I used I love bergamot, bergamot, balsam, and matcha. Oh, and I love how you, each time you kind of switched is the, you know, the bergamot in the middle or the matcha in well, the middle. Well, what I, I couldn't decide which I liked better. So I did two stripes of one and two stripes of the other. So anybody like is more than welcome to do it all the same. Yeah, you could do it all. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. And I thought it was kind of a fun little design thing. It's gorgeous. Granny stripe 
check mark. Well, what I thought, what I thought would, I would call it is the fat granny. Oh, the fat granny. Use- I know we have to look it up. There might be a, a some there might be a stitch already called Fat Granny. We need to look that up. Okay. Well, yeah, but that's cute. But know, the, the, I the love fat it though. Granny it's... stripe blanket cuz the um you know, this forever fleece and it's just got the best weight and I'll tell you what, it works up really fast. I used my nice big 10 hook <laughs> and just let her rip and I got it done in like 2 days. So if oh, you Oh, that's have- amazing. That's it. That's, that's nice. And you got yourself a nice weight. So it kind of feels weighted. Yes. It's another secure. It's another emotional security blanket. <laughs> I love it. Well, it, it, it has been, it was really nice to crochet on too. I just like, you know, cover myself in cause I kind of sit by the window and it's been 24 degrees below zero. When is the last time Denver got to minus 24? That is just nuts absolutely nuts but it's been cold here too i mean the high in arizona the other day was only 44 i mean i think or 50 i can't it was it's been cold it, it we're back up into this the high 60s now 68 i'm not and i know i'm kind of dreading i'm not dreading i'm so excited to come and help hannah with her new baby but i know you're gonna come be on there. i don't want to be there if it's zero degree it doesn't look like it's gonna be i think this is this was our cold snap i think this we're, was the cold it, it looks this like is... it's gonna be yeah usually we get like the windy cold snap at the beginning of january so yeah. Feb- well, but, I, you know I, I have a feeling I'll be there for, like I said, a little bit when she has the baby, which probably will be the, I'm guessing the last week in January, first weekend in whatever that is, February ish. But then I go home because Will gets the two, the whole two weeks off and then I'll be coming back. So I probably won't even be back till like maybe around Valentine's day or after. And, um, I, I hope it'll be okay. You know, hope we'll have you can get some snow though in Denver. Oh yeah, Denver. The, I mean, the good thing about Denver is that you know it 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 might get, you might get a cold snap, but you will get a few sixty degree days sprinkled here and there. Yeah. So you know, it's never it's not like when I live back east when it gets cold and it stays cold. You know, Denver kind of goes up and down. So yeah. All right. Hey, right. well, yeah. I have a blog post that I need to go write. Yeah. So yeah. we so just actually for just... everybody who's interested in, in the, in the uh, retreat recap yeah. what they need to do. Thank you everyone. And I hope you sign up if it, if it works out. And so where, but Tiffy, where are they going to go get the blog post? Where are they? Are you on daisyfarmcrafts.com? So the- if they want to read about it. And if you're to- watching this on the replay, I will put the link in the comments. Perfect. Okay. okay. So at but some point go. after we're, we're done with this and it's the replay that check out the link and it will be there so that you can go read all the details and, and then at next week reservations will go live. So no, you cannot make a reservation now. Mm-mm. You can, the first reservation will be next week. Right. And you okay. might want to just go ahead and like, uh, use the uh, sign up for our newsletter on the website too, because I will resend that post out at it, they, our posts go out at 10 o'clock noon Eastern. I mean, 10 o'clock mountain standard noon Eastern. And that's when you'll, so it could show up in your email box if, if you wanted to. So. Okay. You've got a week to Yay. learn about it. So. All right, everybody. We love you and we'll see you next week. We're crushing that.